To those participating in ReadyTalk uh, and through Twitter, and those who will be reviewing the webinar with a podcast or class presentation later, I'd like to say hello. I'd like to welcome everybody to this new session of the Product Management View Series. I'm Val Workman from Ryman Technology Solutions, one of the sponsors of this webinar, and I'd like to thank ReadyTalk for their generous support of this community and their sponsorship for this event as well. I will be the moderator for today, and it's my pleasure to introduce C.T. Butler, who will be our presenter for this presentation. I'd like to congratulate C.T. We've just been talking about his new book, Consensus for Cities. Uh, C.T., any idea when this will become available to all of us? Well, it will be very soon. I have the book, the proof copy from the printer, right here in my hands right now. It's going back today, and the presses will start rolling, and I should have copies in stock by Monday. Excellent. That sounds fun. Now, oh, also, excited. yeah, I, uh, I think we're going to be able to see some relevance in that. Most people think of consensus in terms of one or two people. So the um, overall process is currently CT is traveling across the United States, Europe, and Africa, and, and giving lectures to um, uh, people teaching workshops. Is that right? Along on formal consensus. Yes, I teach a two-day workshop. And he's uh, he does uh, group, within the, within these groups. He's teaching uh, things like the government agencies, schools, Indian tribes, uh, co-housing groups, professional organizations, religious organizations, along with what we would the traditional international and business communities. Participants in this webinar may also be interested interested in participating in the LinkedIn group PM Anthropology COP or COP, which addresses the cultural factors influencing PM success. We encourage those who are interested to lead and participate in ongoing discussions within these LinkedIn groups. Through participation in this community of practice, you can help define best practices within uh, inbound, internal, and external PM anthropology methods. For those of you who are using Twitter, you can follow and add co additional conversation using the Twitter hashtag pound uh, PMV during the webinar and continue conversation after this webinar on hashtag pound AOPM. This conversation will be posted afterwards on the Product Management Views blog post, along with this uh, slide deck that CT will be presenting today. I'd encourage you to make comments and ask additional questions on this post. I'll also be collecting questions throughout the presentation and review them during the QA session. I'm going to pass the control over to CT now, and he's going to present this week's topic on conflict and consensus for product management. And at the end of the presentation, I'll be back to conduct the question and answer session. CT? Thank you very much, Val. It's an honor to be here. And for everybody else, um, I, am, I go by CT, CT Butler, and this presentation is based upon my first book titled On Conflict and Consensus. Um, this is just a, a, this next slide is just a little bit about me. Val covered much of it. I think that the uh, important things to share that, that um, he didn't mention is that um, I've recently, uh, I've been traveling the United States and Europe for the last 20 years teaching this model. Um, but recently, in the last couple of years, I started teaching in Africa. And that's been a very powerful experience in part because of the, um, the history and the culture of working in tribes and in tribal groups. And so some things there are very familiar in formal consensus, and other things are completely new. So it's a whole new experience for me. I just thought I'd mention that because it's been very exciting. And I'm very much looking forward to continuing this work in the coming years with my new book, which is, like I, like I just mentioned, is just about to be in stock. So let's start in and... What we're talking about today is decision-making in groups. And when you consider decision-making, there are two parts always. In any group, when any time group of humans come together, there are always operating in the group at all times, both the content of the group, what they're talking about, why they came together, what they're doing, and the process, how they are doing those things. And those two things are always operating. We don't really think about that much. We mostly focus on the content because that's concrete operational. But always in the background is process. And certainly as product managers, everybody knows that. So I just want to be really clear that this 
is talking about the process side. And when